Hi guys, my name is RyderTomi28 and today I'll be doing a review on the Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. Now, let's jump quickly to the pen. Um, before that, uh, they changed the box from a clamshell box to this hard covered cardboard box. It's very sturdy, it's got the Visconti logo in silver on here. The Bronze Age comes with the polishing cloth of course. Uh, to use it, just dampen the cloth, rub over the bronze finish, and then rub over it again with a dry part of the cloth, the international warranty card, and the pen, of course. Oh yeah, and the English on here is very, very crooked. Um, you can pause and read it. Uh, but it does also tell you to put the cloth back into this pouch when you're done using it, so... Just keep that in mind. Now, this is the pen. And the Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Bronze Age, this one. Um, and, well, they discontinued the Sterling Silver model. But it they are still out there. They also don't make the MIDI sizes anymore. But they do still make this Bronze Age sometimes. You know, they quite recently came out with this red finish on here. I'm just in love with this bronze finish and it actually is a full bronze finish meaning that it will patina over time um, if I don't know if you can see that but it's already got this like red sheen on here um, I just adore it now the cap um, the clip is made after the Ponte Vecchio bridge in Italy two center bands and they give you a guideline of opening the clip because it's going to be very difficult to get your finger under here now the Visconti logo is in here um, and the difference between the this Visconti logo and the Visconti well the homo sapiens writing in here is that the letters on the clip are um, pushed forward and the background is, well, in the background. And with the Homo sapiens part on this band is that the the letters are inwards. Um, and that's really cool. Now, this Visconti also has its my pen system. You can take this out, which I will actually demonstrate for you. I've got some magnets here. You can just take a strong magnet. They do offer a fancy magnet from Visconti. Um, but any strong magnet will do and it just comes right off now I actually did order some initials you can see them here however I was expecting silver initials and, and these are like this grayish color and I don't really like it so I'm gonna have to decide if I want like a a black gemstone or maybe my zodiac sign or if I just ordered them in another color. I don't know. I'll have to decide. And it's the same with these ones. Just you can pop them right off. It's very, very easy. Just remember to keep your little Visconti My Pen System initials f finishes on here safe. Because they're very, very small. Now, really cool thing about the Visconti Homo Sapiens is its hook safe lock. A lock safe hook I don't know which way around you push the cap in and twist and I believe it's got a one sixth or one fifth of a rotation so you can um, cap and undo your pen like very very quickly um, I actually got lucky because um, my nib is in line with the Visconti well with the homo sapiens text and then if I just put this here it's going to be a bit to the side, but then when I uncap it again, it's going to be perfectly in line. So I really adore that. Now, another thing to notice is that this pen is a 23 karat palladium nib. And they changed it from a um, two-tone colored nib to this rose gold. Well, it's a very light rose gold finish. And sometimes I just look at it and it just looks gold. But no matter what, it matches this trim perfectly. Now I was a bit he hesitant to 
well, about the rose gold finish because the two tone colored nib looks very beautiful. But I'm very happy and very, very satisfied with this nib. It is lovely. Now, Visconti uh, Homo Sapiens, it's got the power filler, which essentially is a vacuum filling pen. You just unscrew this knob and you pull out this rod. And the, all the components are made of titanium, which uh, is because that's resistant to the ink corrosion. Now, I believe there's no ink in this pen, otherwise this is going to be a massive fail. But um, essentially, you push down on this rod, and there's a seal on the inside. And it pushes um, onto the side walls. Now, while you push down this rod, this little seal will, will create a negative pressure up here. But down the, to the bottom inside, it flares out. It doesn't really look like it flares out on the pen itself, but inside the pen, it, it does. So then when you release it, I don't know if you can hear that, when you push it down all the way, the... Um, the air from the ink pot will shoot up into your pen, filling your pen. Now, I did all the A Visconti um, traveling inkwell, but my rubber seal in the inkwell um, was leaking. I don't know how, but I just pushed the pen in, and if I just held it up there, the ink would just still come out everywhere. So I returned it, and they're gonna send me a new one. I bought all of this uh, at the Vilpenwereld in Groningen in the Netherlands. By no means are they sponsoring this video, but um, the guy there, Ronald, is just lovely. And yeah, he had no problem with returning it whatsoever. Now, this pen is made out of lava rock. I believe it's 50% resin and 50% uh, basaltic lava. Basaltic lava is the orange stuff that comes out of the volcano and uh, it, it dries up, it becomes this rock and they, they scrape it down, they powder it up and pr make this material out of it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, probably on the cap a little bit better. Um, there's tiny, tiny pores, uh, little pores, little holes. Um, on the in this material, which means that this pen is going to be a bit hygroscopic. Now, hygroscopic will mean that it will absorb some hand oils, meaning that for long writing sessions, this pen will be a dream because it won't get as sweaty as other pens because it the pen will absorb your moisture. Now, a thing to notice: no, your pen will not smell like sweat. Um is what I've been told by a lot of people. Some people do worry about it, but other people I've talked to which have this pen, um, no, it doesn't smell like sweat. I, I will give you an update on it if I have the pen long enough and it does. And you also don't have to be uh, careful um, to dip it in the ink because it, it will just be fine. Just wipe it off and you don't have to be scared that it'll stain your pen. Um, now, another good thing to tell you is that with the power filler, some vacuum filling pens like the uh, Twisby VEC 700R and the, the Pilot Custom 823, the rubber seal at the end of this rod will actually uh, block the ink from going to the feed. Now, the Visconti Homo Sapiens, the seal will not do that, so you can just screw it in and write with the pen but it just never hurts so if I know I'm going to uh, have a long writing sessions just to be safe you know it, it can't do any harm I just loosen it up a bit and write with it it it's a dream now yes you can post this pen but as you'd expect the, it's gonna be massive it's gonna be very very big don't know if you have some size comparisons. This is the Kaweco Sport. I'll put it down here. It's so massive like this. 
but if you just take the cap off it's gonna be very very well balanced and I was surprised because I thought this was a pretty big pen it's got some nice weight to it it it, it just reeks of quality and um, the Kaweco Sports I was surprised at how long this became you know it's it's almost as long as the Wisconsin Homo sapiens. I was really surprised to see that. Let's look at this Ahab. The Visconti will definitely be taller and it will also be th thicker. Let's uncap this. And it will also be taller, uncapped. And you know, I, you probably might have an Ahab, a Nulis Ahab. They are pretty thick. But this Visconti, um, it it does most certainly beat it in the grip, and the the grip is not a straight line. It 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 comes from a bit broader and it narrows down and it flares out again. So it's going to be very very comfortable in your hand. Now, let's actually fill this pen. I chose the Carandash Magnetic Blue. Uh, I believe they're located in Switzerland and they make these lovely ink bottles and colors. I, I find that this ink matches perfectly with the Homo sapiens because I did want a blue but I, I didn't want like this light light blue. So this is more like a blue blackish ink. It's lovely. And now this bottle is really, really heavy, you know. Even the cap is made out of metal. It's got some very nice weight to it. Now, just unscrew this, pull it back. Put it into the ink to uh, about the grip section. And just leave it in there for a few seconds so that you can allow the ink to go from the ink pot up to the pen. And just do this about twice twice two or three times will be enough lovely you can screw this on here again I'm quickly gonna close this bottle because I do not want to knock it over Now, for this very little writing sh sample, I'm going to use this Oxford paper. I really like it. It will be great for school because let me just go like this. It will be great for school because it's got this system in here that you can scan these little four dots here and it'll actually recognize all the text on the page and you can send like crystal clear pictures and you can save all your notes on your phone if you want to study on holiday or something but you don't want to take your whole notebook with you and this is like it said on the front 90 gram paper um, and on the front it says tinte scheint nicht durch meaning that um, it will prevent ghosting so this is very fountain pen friendly paper. Now you can um, operate this pen, un uncap and uncap it with one hand. It's very, very easy. Now this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens. Yeah. Oh, how the hell did I misspell that? Ron's age with a 23 carat per ladium nib. And this is a medium nib. Now, this, well, I've heard that the fine nibs can be springy and soft. So I wasn't expecting any springiness on this medium nib. 
but if I just make this these little crosses, just try try to flex it out a bit, so you can definitely see that feel see and feel the difference. It's very very cool. This is a normal one. It's so smooth, so springy, so soft. They don't advertise it as a soft nip of any kind. And I don't think that you can get as much flex with this one as the Falcon. But it does certainly have a very nice springiness to it. And this is a very wet writer. And I, I love it. But of course, on nicer paper, with this good flowing Carandash ink and this wet nib from Visconti, it will have a very, very long dry time. Um... But, I mean, it's okay. I really don't get bothered by that at all. Uh, like, brown fox. What the hell is this? <sighs> now, this sentence will use all the letters in the alphabet. Yes, you can count. It's what I did too, if you don't believe me. Um, and some upside down writing. I had never heard of it before, but I tried it. And this is so unbelievably, surprisingly smooth. I mean, I thought it was going to harm the nib. And yes, of course, don't use it all the time upside down. But if you have to pinch in something, this will definitely do the job for you. Even upside down, this nib will flow like a dream. Now, I've heard a lot of people saying that it's either a hit or a miss with these pens. And um, here and there, if I try to, especially if I hold my nib upwards like this first, and then try to um, write my first letter, the first line, like if I just start like this, and I can just like go like, you see, it's, it's going to skip the first part of the line but i find that if you just you know every time that you just take the pen out of the cap just put put your pen on here you don't have to hold it long just put your pen on here and and write and once it it writes it writes like a dream this nib is so soft i mean downwards upwards to the right to the left it almost sounds like a song but this pen is awesome Thank you so much for looking at this review. Please, if you have any other things that you'd like me to review, tell me if you have any tips for me. Please, please tell me. I'd be so happy with some tips. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like and thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy your fountain pens.